Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about all of the books that I want to read in July. <laughs> I normally don't make TBR videos, so this is a surprise video coming to y'all, but I found that there are a few readathons and books that I specifically want to read and buddy reads happening, and I thought it would be a great idea to put that in a video. There are a bunch of books on this list. All of these are just subject to change. I think the main reason why I don't make TBR videos is because I feel like I'm disappointed in myself when I don't read all of the books that I plan out for myself, but I gotta start thinking positively and that it's okay if I don't read all these books because there's a bunch of books on this list and I'm sure as heck not gonna get to all of them I don't think. Okay so first we're gonna be talking about the readathons going on this month that I'm going to be participating in. We obviously have the reading rush happening from I believe like July 22nd to the 28th around that time uh, towards the end of the month. I don't have my TBR set for that. I don't know if I'm gonna be making a TBR video. I know I'm gonna be having a reading vlog. I don't know if I'm gonna be daily vlogging. I've never daily vlogged before. Let me know if y'all want a, just a really really long vlog or daily vlogs. So all of the books that are on my TBR that aren't a part of readathons I think I might try and fit into some of those challenges. There's seven challenges. Okay so the other readathon that I'm going to be participating in is one hosted by Jess from Peace Love Books, Mina from Mina Reads, and Melissa from She's an Open Book. They are doing the Palm South University read-along and these are all books by Candy Steiner. I don't know what any of these are about. I'm not going to tell you the summary because I have no idea what they're about. But Candy Steiner is one of like my favorite romance authors and all of these books are on Kindle Unlimited and I want to read more of her backlist. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity even though I don't know what any of these are about. I assume they are college new adult romances. So on July 6th that's when you start the first book which is Rush. July 13th you start Anchor. July 20th you start Pledge. July 27th you start Legacy and July 30th you start Ritual which I believe is the last book in the series. And then August 6th there's going to be a live show on Jess's channel. I don't know what any of these books are about but um they're all in Kindle Unlimited. I have Kindle Unlimited so yeah and I want to read Candy Steiner's backlist so perfect opportunity so I'm very excited to read these books with these ladies. Next I am participating in Christmas in july -a -thon, hosted by some of my friends here on booktube. They're hosted by three booktubers and then three bookstagrammers. So my booktube friends are Brie from Brie Hill, Chloe from Always Booked, and Sarah from Steeped in Books. They are the booktube hosts and then the Instagram hosts, Bookish Lore, Laura from What to Read Next podcast and Angela Reads Books. I'm linking everyone that I'm talking about down below obviously. There are four prompts here and it's just a whole month, <laughs> whole month from July 1st to the 31st of you get to read books that fit in this prompt. I assume they want you to read more like Christmassy books like Christmas in July obviously. Not all my books are Christmas related because I don't have a bunch of Christmas books but hopefully it's okay if I fit other books into these challenges. I still want to really participate and support my friends. I don't have a lot of Christmas romance books which obviously needs to change. So the first prompt is Oh Holy Night. Read a book with a blue slash black cover or a book with stars or a night sky on the cover. So for this one I am picking Alaskan Holiday by Debbie Maycomber. I believe all three of my friends Chloe, Brie, and Sarah have read a Debbie Maycomber and they really like her books and I've never read one of her books and I feel like she's a big staple in the romance community. I wanted to read one of her books and this cover fit the bill for that obviously. Look at that beautiful cover. I found this one off of Libby and I believe it's only like five and a half or six hours. Oh my goodness our main character's last name is my name but it's spelled wrong. <laughs> my name is the right way you spell it. Our main character woman's name is Josie Avery and she moves to this very remote Alaskan town of Ponder and there she meets Palmer Saxon. They become very very close. Palmer really wants to make Josie his wife but Josie can't imagine abandoning her mom back in Seattle and sacrificing her career to stay in this isolated town. Not even for a man she's quickly coming to love. And I think she actually gets stuck in Ponder during the winter time so I believe that's this story. I'm very excited I've never read a Debbie Maycomber so I'm looking forward to reading this. Prompt number two is last Christmas read a book you didn't get to read last year. There was a Ruby Dixon book that I hadn't read yet that came out last year. It's called Pretty Human and this one's on Kindle Unlimited. It's a very short alien novella and this 
cover kind of fits like the wintry theme we're going for uh, so I picked this one I don't know what this is about it's like a 50 page something novella revolving around aliens <laughs> Prompt number three is Winter Wonderland. Read a book with a winter or Christmas themed title. Examples being snow, cold, or Christmas. For this one, I picked Secret Santa by Katie Wilde. This is off of Kindle Unlimited. I believe this one is a workplace romance, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm trying to read Katie Wilde's backlist. I've read some of her books in June and really enjoyed her writing. So I want to read her backlist. So this is one of those. Prompt number four is Christmas in the Country. Read a cowboy slash cowgirl themed book. Book. This one was hard for me because I don't I've never read a cowboy or cowgirl book before I don't own any so I went to Audible Escape to look for one. Unfortunately, none of the ones that I was interested in winter or Christmas related So I just picked a random cowboy romance. I hope hope that's okay um, This one's called the truth about cowboys by Lisa Renee Jones I believe this one is about a man who is a cowboy and he's kind of known for being very isolated and not getting close to people but then he meets our heroine and everything changes. <laughs> I've never read a cowboy romance so I'm very intrigued to see what I think of this one. I'm very excited to read all these books and I hopefully will do a reading vlog for those four books that I picked out. Next I have a buddy read with Deja. I believe her channel name is Deja Soar. Um, I'm linking her channel down below. She's a booktuber here. I love her oh so very much and we were talking on Instagram the other day and we both really loved the Lunar Chronicles and we really wanted to do a reread so we're rereading the Lunar Chronicles together. So this month we're reading Cinder and I'm so very excited. I haven't reread the Lunar Chronicles since probably like my junior year of high school which is more than four years ago. So I'm very excited for this. If you didn't know about the Lunar Chronicles this is a sci-fi reimagining series. The first one is if Cinderella was a cyborg in this sci-fi reimagining of Earth. It's so good. This series is amazing. Now, book number three is my favorite so I can't wait to get to that one when I reread the series and I'm very excited to read this book with Deja. It's shout out time. Let's see who we're gonna shout out today. We're gonna shout out this one. Who is, who are you? Hopefully I'm pronouncing her name right. Mina Marie. M-I-N-J-A Marie. I'm horrible at pronunciations. Here's her picture. She's so cute. She's been a huge supporter of mine on my channel for so long. I love her content a lot. She reads just about a little bit of everything I want to say. She reads a lot of fantasy books and she also makes like shorter videos which I found so refreshing at times because I make a lot of long videos and a bunch of my friends make a bunch of long videos so it's so nice to watch someone who makes shorter videos. She also has a whole video talking about epilepsy because she has epilepsy and what it is perceived in um, the media, how it's perceived. I believe in movies and books, if I'm not mistaken, maybe just movies. Um, and I really loved that video because I love learning more about people who are different than me and have things that are different than me. So I really love her videos. I love her content. I love her. So please go check her out. The next book that I want to read, I have to cover up a word. I'm trying to keep this channel as family friendly as possible. So I'm covering up a curse word here. <laughs> um, it's beautiful you can interpret the other word um, by Christina Lauren. This is a novella part of the Beautiful Bastard series. And this is the novella number 1.5 and I did have no idea what this book is about um, but I want to continue with this series. I've only read book one and book two. I want to continue because I want to read all of Christina Lauren's books. I don't know what this one is about though. I think it has to do with the couple from the first book though. So then I also want to reread Beautiful Stranger by Christina Lauren which is the second book in the series because I reread the first book back last month. This one I remember is about Sarah and Max is like a player until he meets Sarah I'm pretty sure and the only scene that I remember about this book very vividly is that they meet each other in a club. They don't know the other person and Sarah's never like done anything with someone she doesn't know and they end up doing stuff like in public when they first meet each other. <laughs> I I don't know why that scene has always stuck with me with this book. If you didn't know this is a companion series. Christina Lauren's probably dirtiest books um, is this series so I actually have really enjoyed the series and I can't wait to continue on. Next I want to read Evie Drake Starts Over by Linda Holmes. This is Shelby and Kendra's book talks after dark 
live show for that and their guest host is my friend Chloe from Always Booked and they're reading this book and it looks like this book takes place in Maine and our main character is Evie who is recently widowed and she rarely leaves her house. Everyone in town thinks that the grief has locked her inside her home and she doesn't correct them. Then Dean Tenney who lives in New York who is a former major league pitcher and Evie's best friend's childhood best friend is struggling with a case of the yips. He can't throw straight anymore and he can't figure out why. An invitation from Andy to stay in Maine for a few months seems like the perfect chance to hit the reset button. And then Dean moves into an apartment at the back of Evie's house and the two make a deal. Dean won't ask about Evie's late husband and Evie won't ask about Dean's baseball career. Rules though have a funny way of being broken and I believe it's their romance and that sounds super duper cute. I've never heard about this book before so I'm very excited. I really love the cover and I already got the book off of Libby so very much looking forward to reading this book and hopefully discussing this with all of the ladies. And then our lovely ladies live show pick for the month of July. Uh, this is a live show I put on with my friends Ashley and Jen every single month. And we have a live show at the end of the month every single month. Um, so this month's is Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. Our book club book for January was Get a Life Chloe Brown which is my favorite book of the year so far and so we thought it was only fitting to make the sequel our July book and we are all very much looking forward to this. This is a romance all about Danny, who is the sister to Chloe from the first book and I believe she is a witch. She's bisexual and then this man, his name is Zafir I think, Zaf, um, he is I believe a security guard in her office and um, he ends up rescuing her one day, um, I think during like a, a fire in the building or something like that. Apparently someone like videotapes it. They go viral basically and they have a fake relationship, but Danny really actually wants him, like really wants him. Um, so I think she's trying to convince him to make this not fake. I think he also has issues with anxiety. So I'm very much looking forward to reading about that because I struggle with anxiety, so. Again, very much looking forward to this Talia Hibber book. Be sure to join us at the end of July to discuss this book with us. I have Sweet Little Lies by Jill Shalvis. Sarah and Brie make me want to read Jill Shalvis because they talk about her all the time and I want to read her books. So this is the first book in the Heartbreaker Bay series. Oh my gosh, this main character woman has my mom's name. <laughs> That's gonna be weird. <laughs> name never pops up anywhere. Okay, so this is about Prue. She is a captain of a San Francisco Bay tour boat and she is in danger of stumbling into love with Mr. Wright for anybody but her. The romance is with Finn O'Reilly who is a pub owner and he is a six foot plus of hard working hottie who always makes time for his friends. When Prue becomes one of them, she discovers how amazing it feels to be on the receiving end of the deep green gaze. But when a freak accident involves darts, leads to shirtless first aid, things rush way past the friend zone. Prue only wants Finn to be happy. It's what she wishes for at the historic fountain that she's supposed to grant her heart's desire. But wanting him for herself is a different story because Prue's been keeping a secret that could change everything. I've been wanting to read Jill Salvis and the Heartbreaker Bay series is something that Brie and Sarah talk about all the time and I want to uh, know what they're talking about and I want to be included so I really want to read this series and hopefully I really love this one. Next we have If You Come Softly by Jacqueline Woodson. I believe my audiobook is coming or already is coming soon. I don't know. This is a young adult romance book. It's so short. I think I'm gonna fly through it but um, this is a romance between a black boy and a Jewish girl and um, this is the 20th anniversary edition so maybe this book takes place 20 years ago so that dynamic will probably be really interesting to read about. I really love Jacqueline Woodson's writing. I read an article by her for one of my um, multicultural literature classes that I took last semester and I really enjoyed her writing so I definitely 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 want to read this one in July. I talk about this book in almost every video that I make recently that I've been wanting to read it and I haven't read it yet and that's Signs of Attraction by Laura Brown. This is a romance book um, all about a man who is deaf I'm pretty sure and that's all I know about it though. Um, I love books with disability representation in it so um, I'm going completely blind other than that one fact and I'm still very much looking forward to this because I end up loving romance books where our main character is deaf. Um, I haven't read a lot so if you know any please let me know but I end up loving those so hopefully I love this one as well. And lastly I need to read 
Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. My lovely friend Hannah Grace lent this book out to me. It is a graphic novel. We've been trading each other's graphic novels and books for a while. She just read Saga and Pumpkinheads from me so she lent me Nimona and I don't know anything about this book like at all. I don't know if it's I think it's fantasy related. I don't know. The artwork's pretty cool. I've heard pretty good things about Nimona, so I'm very excited to get to this one. So there you have it. Those are the many books that I plan to read in the month of July. Let me know down below if you're going to be participating in any of these readathons along with me. Also, let me know if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye! <laughs>